Welcome to our channel, Let Us Pray Every Day. Today, we will be praying for those who have experienced hurt in their heart or broken heart. You may not realize if you fit this category, but I want you to take this time and just think. Does this pertain to me? No, don't think about anyone else. Don't think about a friend or a family member, how they have responded to you. But I want you to think about you. Because today, you may realize how you are and that your life could be a whole lot better when you recognize that you might need healing for your emotions. Has anyone said anything to you that caused you to cringe inside? Or has anyone come into your presence or even the thought or mention of their name caused it, it seems like a tension to rise up on the inside of you? Has anyone spoken certain words to you and it caused a response from you that was beyond nice? It was not a kind thing that you said or words that were spoken were other than kind? Have you ever thought about a person and felt angry? Well, if you said yes to any one of those questions, I want you to think, could my emotions need healing? Am I wounded in my heart? Have I experienced pain? Am I in need of healing? I want you to think about that for a moment. Perhaps you can think of a person that you do not feel quite right towards. Well, today, you can feel perfectly well towards that person. Today, you can feel perfectly well in your emotions toward any situation, any circumstance. Because as we find out what God has to say about a broken heart and how we can get our emotions healed, you can walk free today whether that person ever changes, whether the circumstance ever gets any better. But it's all about you. And how you've been delivered by the deliverer. We thank you today, Father God, for this opportunity to delve into your word, to find out what it is that you have to say about a broken heart, and how you are setting the captives free and in their emotions today. I am super excited for you. Let's look at some scriptures here. Some Chapter 147, verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. John, chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Psalms 51 verse 17. A broken and contrite heart God will not despise. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest on me. In Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 
Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So we see here that God is, has provided in his word ways for us to experience freedom from our broken heart. It doesn't say that your circumstance would change for you right now, but it says, God says, come unto me. Come, come unto me. All you who are heavy laden, burdened down, hurt and in pain, scarred and wounded. All you who are heavy laden with the cares of the world, come unto me. God says, come unto me. God says, come unto me. Rest in my presence. I will give you rest. He said, take of me. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. God wants to mend your broken heart. He wants to heal you in your emotions. He wants you to be free to love just as he has loved you with an everlasting love. He wants you to love just as he loves you. But you must come unto him and receive that love. He's waiting for you. He sings songs of deliverance over you. He longs to protect you, guide you, keep you, direct you. He is thoroughly in love with you. God loves you. And he is a mender of broken hearts. Have you experienced your shoulders being tensed? And if you were to just relax, notice that how they have would come down from being up to your earlobes. I've experienced that tension, stressed, emotional, but God wants you to experience peace every day of your life. Come unto me, he says. Come unto me, cast the whole of your care on me, rest in me. He said, even when you're weak, my strength will be made perfect. So you don't have to try to do everything, be everything to everybody, have all the answers for everyone. Come unto God, rest in his presence, pull away, take the time to meditate in his word. Take the time to spend time with him, even if it's five minutes a day, even the time of this recording, five to 10 minutes a day. He so longs for you to come before him. He so longs to, uh, to speak into your ear. He so longs your presence. He so longs you to commune with him. He so long to, he wants you to communicate with him. He longs for that. You may be driving along in your vehicle, riding along, walking by yourself, at home by yourself, or or find yourself just sitting alone, but God is with you. And all you have to do is just open your mouth, open your heart, and begin to commune with him. And he will commune with you. If you draw nigh to God, he will draw nigh unto you. He loves you and he does not want you to experience one day of burden. He does not want you to experience one minute of pain. He does not want you to experience one second of heaviness. Would you come to him? Would you be willing to lay it down to experience the joy that he has? You see, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. 
and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Can you imagine smiling every day? Can you imagine the joy that would exude from your presence because you have been in the presence of the joy giver? Can you imagine how infectious you can be as you go out and smile and cheer others on? Can you imagine taking the presence of God into the world? Can you imagine the difference maker that you would make? Can you imagine? God wants you to be a conduit for the joy that he has. He wants to lavish the joy all on others who are coming into your presence. He wants you to be full of his presence, full of his glory and share that glory with others and take that presence with you and help someone else to brighten their day. Will you choose today to receive the joy of the Lord? The joy of the Lord, that is your strength. Not if that person speaks to you, not if that person changes, not if that person says that they are sorry, your joy will come from the Lord. And you would get that joy in his presence. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. Are you experiencing that joy right now? If you are not experiencing that joy right now, I want you to open your arms and receive that joy. Uh, as a matter of fact, open your mouth and say, I want your joy, Father. I receive your joy right now. For I am in your presence and I am being strengthened by your power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the joy right now. Father, we thank you for your presence right now. Father, we thank you for setting the captives free right now. Today is a new day. Today is the day of salvation. We are experiencing freedom right now in our emotions. Joy is flooding up like a river. And we are being strengthened by your power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for setting the captives free. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, that concludes our session for this time. Thanks for joining in. And continue to pray every day. Until next time, we'll see you then. And if you have any prayer requests, you can send them in to me at lettuspraveveryday at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you and praying along with you.